Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. I am back at the office, finally done with my vacation. Today, I'm gonna show you guys a very special flow. I hope you saw mine and Kent's race video. If you didn't, you wanna, you're gonna wanna go check that out first because Kent actually lost the bet. And uh, you know what? I'm not gonna grab a coffee. I'm gonna show you a better way. Who's this? Oh, those telemarketers. Hey Kent, good morning. This is an automated coffee order from John. What? I will take a large coffee with three sugars and a little bit of cream, but not too much. <laughs> what is this? Really? <laughs> well, I mean, I, want, I need a coffee, Kent. <laughs> and uh, this is a more creative way, I think. Sure, okay. I bet to bet. All right. So I guess I have your order now, so. Thanks, Ken. Not, uh, not too much cream, remember. <laughs> Thank you, Kent. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Three sugars, a little bit of cream. Not too much. But not too much. Thank you. Okay, now, I'm sure you want to see how this thing is built, right? It's super easy. It's two steps, literally. It's a flow button and the info bip connector, okay? Let's go ahead and switch over to the screen here. I'm gonna show you how easy this thing is to make. All right, so first things first is head over to flow.microsoft.com. Uh, you can see I created one here, a button, an info bip, I need coffee. I'm gonna go ahead and just take you through it from blank. First thing is we're gonna use a flow button. So I'm gonna go ahead and type button here. And we'll see flow button for mobile pop up. Manually trigger a flow. Now let's add a few inputs. Okay, so the first thing is let's add a phone number so we know who this is going to. Let's go ahead and add a greeting. And then let's go ahead and add a coffee order. Okay, that's it. Those are the three inputs we need. Next step, let's go ahead and add an action. Let's search for info bip. Now, this is a third party service, you guys. You do have to subscribe to their service to use the connector, uh, but it is an extremely powerful service. Uh, you can see here, make a voice call or send a text. And so if you want to make voice calls for work orders to alert your field agents or send texts, to certain people to alert them about certain events or about scheduling or or notifications, uh, InfoBip is a great option for that. So uh, let's go ahead here and click the make a voice call. And then literally three steps, ready for this? Okay, first things first, recipient's phone number. Well, we asked for that up here in the trigger, right? In the button trigger, we said, what's the phone number? So we go ahead and click over here come down to our dynamic dynamic content and boom look at this phone number all right so there we go now the message let's go ahead and put in the greeting and then let's go ahead and put a space and a dash and a space and then put the coffee order so now what should happen is whatever phone number we put in will get called and then they're going to get a voice message and the first part will be the greeting and then the second part will be the coffee order Okay, and so literally we hit save, and that's it. We are done. And so you saw me hit the button, it called Kent, he got my greeting and my coffee order, and he went and fetched me a coffee. All right, guys, and so we accomplished a couple of things. One, we got me coffee on demand from Kent to fulfill the bet. Two, we built a pretty rad flow that, from a flow button, can actually do text-to-speech calling through the InfoVip connector. Make sure and go check them out. I'm going to link them below. Pretty rad tech, right? All right, guys, as always, like and subscribe. See you in the next video.